Did you just say Zot? Yeah, it's like my, like my BAM, you know, like a lightning bolt of being correct. Zot! And you have your phone set to an Australian accent? Maybe. I mean, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just classier. You know, I follow his blog. No, no. You know, I think we can still save the pork chops. I mean, they were thick. We'll just cut off the burnt part, you know, fry them up with some eggs, eat them tomorrow for breakfast. You can't have pork chops for breakfast. What? You can't have pork ah. chops for breakfast. Oh, God. Oh, Sarah. Oh, hello, can you eat pork chops for breakfast? No, Sarah. Like Sarah, let the woman speak. Look, let her, let her like speak. Let oh, don't you love that? Like boiling, boiling hot coffee. I just dunk it all over you. <laughs> yeah. Um, excuse me a minute. I'm just going to go to the restroom before we go, OK? Oh, no. Uh, wait. Sorry? Golden showers? Excuse me, sir? Is there a back door here? Oh, I love it in the back door. Nice. How do you feel about this product? Do you think there's a hot factor to it? Well, the color of that snowblower reminds me of the tractor my pop had when I was no bigger than a flea on a pup. Pop used to let me steer. It was hard to steer, being only five and all. But it was just in the field, so it wasn't so dangerous. Especially because Jesus was riding with us. Oh, <laughs> cool. <laughs> when I hit rock bottom with my 100th John and my fifth attempt at methadone, okay. the word became my crutch and my comfort. And it sent me here to tell you that there's no need for snowblowers in hell. But there are a lot of advertisers and liars burning in the eternal hellfire. Well, thank you. So, do you come here often? You're new. Yeah, temporary. I, I leave for overseas soon. Ask him out now or forever hold your peace. Relax, I'll make this the best gyno visit ever. Yeah. Um, could you place your legs in the stirrups, please? <laughs> 